Hey guys and welcome to episode 4 of Grizzly Valley. Today I decided to make a main street which was pretty much an idea that uh, came out of a whim and the same actually goes for the idea to have a main street in this park as well but I think it's good for a couple of reasons just to give it a try. Uh, for one because it's a really nice way to make an entrance part of the park. It's also a really cool way to get good practice and making buildings because you can basically just make one string of buildings in one go. But most of all I think it's really interesting to try just because it's a completely different style from anything I've seen so far in Planet Coaster and at the same time it will also be a bit of a stretch since there aren't really any pieces to make what I am trying to go for. I'm basically trying to make something which is very Disney-esque, so really some Victorian Main Street-like architecture, very much inspired by the Queen Anne and Second Empire architecture in America. But it's something which obviously the game isn't made for at all and uses completely different objects than what we currently have, so in the end I'm not quite sure how well it actually came out in the end and how much it actually resembles Disney because it barely does so in the end. But I am somewhat happy with how it came out, and you'll probably just see that by that time. Anyway, it will be pretty similar to the Disney Main Street in basic setup, like I said before. So this is one of those corner buildings, which I wanted to really place a lot of emphasis on and make sure that I was actually happy with how this building looked, since it's really going to be one of the sort of dual buildings that really greet you to the rest of the park. So obviously I want to make the corner buildings the ones with the most recognizable shape but also with the most intricate details and really want to make sure that I bring out the best in the buildings on the corners here because they're so prominent on the main street as well. And this building is also quite inspired by many of the corner buildings that you see in Disney like Casey's Corner but I obviously did have to compromise on many things. Uh, there aren't really any good Victorian pillars so these little chimney things will just have to do. And another really big issue is actually the lack of spires. Main streets have many different spires with all, all sorts of small details on them but there are no actual spires in the game yet. Which is why I really figured the next best thing was to place this roof just a little bit higher than the rest of the building and have it in a diagonal way so that it still sort of looks like a spire and especially from the front still has the general makeup of one but it's really just an inclined gable roof and that's pretty much how I wanted to do this. And now this building isn't too interesting in terms of what I try to do in terms of detail but I will try to do some other things with the other buildings because one of the reasons why I also really figured it would be nice to try out a main street is also so that with every single building you build you try different uh, sets of details and try different styles just to sort of get an idea of what you can do and what the different directions are that you can go into and while I didn't do too much new things in the first building that is aside from the chimneys which actually work really well as dormers which something interesting to note is I really think they work surprisingly well as dormers and barely even look like chimneys but it's purely down to context which is a pretty important point to always keep in mind like these chimneys are lined up exactly with the rest of the windows and really sunken into the roof quite a bit so that the the holes in the chimneys are more like windows and you don't see the holes on the sides of them and in this context they kind of look like um, dormers because of that but if I were to actually use chimneys as chimneys in that case would have definitely rotated them and placed them a bit higher on the roof to give them more of a context that they're actually a chimney so yeah it's really context dependent uh, what type of thing you use different pieces for. Now the second building over here is really quite simple, didn't do too much with that though one really cool thing to try is to use the very small corner blocks for the pillars or horizontal white beams as little cornerstones on the side of the building which I'm actually quite happy about as well and I also wanted to try the blue walls on that building but I will actually return to that because I think the blue is awfully blue and there are already more than enough blue accents in the main street so I actually want to get to use signs in the end to see if I can get a uh, different wall texture on that. Now this building over here is basically built to try out some ideas with a Roman-ish pediment. It's a really simple building with the exception of the pediment. It's really one of those buildings where the building 
itself doesn't have a lot of detail, but there's a pediment on top of it, which is where most of the detail and small um, shapes and stuff like that are. So it's a pretty simple building, but it really sort of just takes its whole shape and look from the pediment which is on top of it, which is really a mixture of some different pieces to make the triangular pediment on top and uh, for the frieze and architraves underneath it, just some random horizontal beams and actually a balustrade which came out surprisingly well. I also have to say that the balustrades are absolutely amazing or uh, the balconies are absolutely amazing as balustrades if you sink them into the um, the same placement as the walls are and make sure that they're lined up in such a way that you don't get glitching posts then the balconies can actually be really excellent balustrades and like over here was actually a quick thing I wanted to try is to mix the low fences or the fence gap uh, like it's a doorway fence I think with the regular fence just to be able to get some different shapes into the fences because it's a very modern looking fence and I was really thinking well modern fence isn't going to work too well with the colonial or um, more Victorian like buildings so really wanted to see if I could get some more details in there which I suppose it's actually quite a fun way to try and get the little doorways in there to get more details into the fences and some different shapes rather than just having a simple straightforward fence. And this building over here on the corner is very much like the other corner building. One building which I really wanted to focus on and really wanted to make sure that I got a look which I wanted in it. And so it's also going to be like a little bit more special. You can tell that the buildings on the corners, I really wanted to make sure that they had some sort of thing on it that would draw attention like a spire or a small tower in the front of it or extra layers of detail or a um some balustrades or balconies in the front whereas the buildings which are in the middle of the streets which aren't quite as visible are really just more simple buildings and for this one i wanted to try and get a small roof sticking out it isn't really much like a spire or a separate tower but just something which draws out the bu building a little bit more and makes it more interesting to look at than just one flat wall with nothing attached to it really. I would have really liked to just place a um, yeah, a, a roof on it with an A-shape which points toward the front but there is no way I can do that with the current pieces so wanted to sort of compromise with the curved roof over there. Speaking of which, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in the future but Quite some people so far have actually tried the curved roof to make some Asian style architecture which I think is actually a really cool idea and I might want to try that in the future so may well get into a Japanese part of this park but yeah that's for some time later that is definitely not the case yet and the rest of this building is really just quite similar as the building the corner building in the front of the park since I wanted to make them sort of visually similar in a way that they are both connected to each other and make the entire main street one more connected whole. Speaking of which, yeah, all of these buildings, I sort of say that they're separate buildings, but these are really just facades as very common in main streets. These aren't separate buildings, but it's all just one building which pretends to be one building uh, or different buildings by having the different facades and different material uses on every part of the facade. But in reality, this is just going to be one pretty large building and that's really everything that is behind that. Oh, and a pretty important point that I also did come back to a little bit in this episode, but I'll look at a lot more in the next episode, is that I really want to start combining the windows in different ways, like upside down and different um, placements and right next to each other, just to make sure that there are different ways of making windows, because I definitely think there's a lot of potential to be had there. And I really want to avoid all the windows looking exactly the same, which is just about here in the video is where I sort of started noticing all of the windows being very visually similar in the entire main streets. And when it comes to the foliage here, you can see me sort of struggling with that. I really wasn't sure if I wanted to have trees in the middle of the main streets. I really want to have them, but the trees that are currently in the game are just a little bit too large. And they not only really obstruct a bit too much of the buildings, but also clip into them and make this main street feel a bit more closed. But then the issue without them is that most main streets do have uh, trees on them. And without any trees at all, it's not going to look very lively. So that's a bit of an issue. Now over here, I wanted to have 
a pretty simple fountain. Looking back at it, it's maybe a bit too simple. It's more like a um, pillar fountain, but I didn't do much else with it. I might want to still get back to it and add some detail on the sides, but it's something which I'm still not sure if I really want to do it because most of the details that we can add to the sides are ships or other things which would break the theme that I have in this area. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to have a simple pillar over here and instead of having a sculpture on top of it, which would sort of break the theme as well, really figured the next best thing would be to have lights on it and decorate the area around it a little bit with foliage. Now something that I should come back to because it's sort of like the elephant in the room in this video is that I did skip a part of the time lapse in here namely nearly an hour I think or maybe even more of trying to get the paths to actually be in the exact position and way that I wanted them to be. I tried to actually put it in there as well but making the paths was just a complete pain and just trying to get everything to do what I wanted took quite some time and while I am pretty happy with the outcome it was an hour of pure struggles and pain and I don't think anybody deserves to really see that but um, yeah this was basically the outcome I didn't do much else but I really just tried to get the path layout which I wanted here um, which I'm quite happy about in the end especially the way with uh, in which the sidewalk the texture sort of works with the red street texture. I actually think it came out surprisingly good. Now in this corner I just wanted to have a quick filler building almost. It isn't going to be too much really anything special. Just something to make sure that this building on the corner here doesn't just stand on its own completely which would be pretty awkward. Um, but this will be the last building of this facade over here. And next to this I would like to have some foliage and a larger ornamental building to stand on its own which you'll see in a little bit. But this building much like the other ones in the middle of the main street is more or less just filler. Nothing too interesting, I just sort of took the opportunity to try some different styles and try different variations of the pieces together and also maybe some different mixes like slightly sinking some pieces into other pieces and see what you can make with them. But aside from that, it's nothing really spectacular, just a rather standard Main Street type building. Something which I should say though, in regards to that, especially that building which I just built, and a couple of them in the Main Streets, I am saying that it's very Victorian Disney inspired, but I also took some inspiration from Fantasialand and Europa Park as well, and there is also a fair bit of European influences definitely in the buildings, which Partly, of course, due to the sets which they're made with, but also in the overall style in which they're made. So, it's sort of a mis mishmash at this point between different styles and just trying to get whatever I sort of like in terms of looks in the main street. Now, this building over here, which I think in the end might actually be my favorite building of the main street so far, is going to be a neoclassical state building, much like a city hall, for instance, or a court which is a thing that I am quite happy about, basically because it sort of shows how well the Roman theme could potentially work out, and it's also one of the reasons why I think I may want to try a Roman theme at some point in the future in this park as well, because uh, it's, it's something that I did try as a prototype before, try to make some Roman temples and see how well it could actually work out, but I didn't try it in this particular context. Like in this case, I of course don't want it to look entirely Roman and want to give it a bit more of a colonial style and more like courthouses and city halls in the US actually look. So there's a lot more white of course over here as well and generally more modern details and in the end flags as well definitely. Um, but I'm actually quite happy with how it turned out and it's one of my favorite things so far and definitely a theme which is very feasible in this game so that's really one of the reasons why I think it's interesting not just because I sort of like the building that came out of it but also because I think this is a theme where a lot of potential lies not just in this park but in the game in general and not just right now with the pieces we have but definitely in the future as well. But yeah anyway this building is basically just very much like a Roman temple in basic structure. Some pillars, there's a stairs in the front but only in the front and um a basic freeze architrave and pediment on top of the pillars which pretty much acts as some very 
fancy layers of detailing and then a roof on top and I kind of want to mess with details in the pediment as well, which you'll see in a little bit. And it's also relatively easy to make once you actually sort of know what to use for everything. It's really just basic white pillars and white walls and you don't really need to snap too much out of the grid for it, though I did have to make some separate buildings just for the stairs at the bottom because they're all layers of roofs of different buildings. And aside from that, you sort of just dress it up with details, which you can pretty much do with whatever. Uh, but at a most basic level, uh, classical buildings have two layers of roof plates and a bottom one and a top one, which both have their own decorations. And I wanted to sort of try the same kind of thing over here as well. Uh, excuse me if my knowledge of classical buildings isn't entirely up to standards anymore, though. It's been a long time since high school classes, but... Uh, that's basically what I wanted to try in here and really figured the balustrades would work best as the top layer. And then on top of that you have the roof with the pediment in the front, which is this triangular thing, which is often very decorated. So I wanted to try that over here as well, uh, just by having a little mishmash of different pieces over here, which I figured would have the right texture and some nice detail in there to make that shape happen. And that's eventually how I did all of it. And then of course I wanted to use the pillars, or uh, I wanted to use the chimneys as both the bases and the tops of pillars, which is in no way like actual classical tops and bottom and bases of pillars are. So that is definitely something which I really hope to have some future updates about. But the overall shape and sense of how it looks, especially when viewed from a distance, I think is quite realistic. Anyway, that's about it for the time-lapse part for today, but I still had recorded a quick real-time part, so let's skip to that for a second. This is what it looks like at the moment. I actually spent over half an hour in the end fiddling with details that I just wanted to add here and there and seeing what would actually work. I added the small bell tower over here on this building just to make it look a little bit more like an American state building rather than the Roman temple that it was sort of looking like before. Though I do have to say, I think the Roman theme works out surprisingly well and by changing some of these things I might actually be able to get a Roman theme in somewhere in the rest of the park. But that's really just an idea I still have to play with. And for the rest of the main streets I just decided to add what I usually like to call the signs of life. So some lanterns, flags hanging just around everywhere because main streets really like their flags and also some signs like Chief Beef Belief over here which actually isn't connected to the paths because I don't quite like the peeps walking through the sidewalks over here which is like a raised step which wouldn't really look too great so it's really just there to look pretty I guess. Oh, let me actually unpause the game that might be a little bit nicer and on this building I actually put the cosmic cow in rather than just keeping it empty mostly because I figured I wouldn't want to keep the entire main street empty and at least have some services which people can actually go to and I really figured Cosmic Cow is really cute and wanted to have that in here. But what's actually more interesting about this building, and this is probably something which other people have used already but I haven't seen it too much, is I actually took some signs to recolor the building. I wasn't quite happy with how dark the in-game generic blue walls are and tried to find some ways to sort of get rid of that. And I think this sign over here is actually this very long sign. So there is a problem with it, like I rotated this one to just place it in there and get a slightly different color. But yeah, it's two tiles wide and one tile high, so while it's very useful, this building sort of sticks out from the rest of the buildings. Um, but yeah, that does mean that there's this one little border in the middle which I can't do anything about, so it's not really symmetrical, so I might want to get back to that. Maybe cover this up with a post or something like that. And sort of did, whoops, sort of did the same thing at the bottom floor where I think I used uh, this one just to have a slightly different color, which I kind of do like. And even though this building isn't really my favorite, it still was nice to actually play around with the signs. And I should probably do that a little bit more in the future because one of my biggest issues is still definitely that the main street is very blue and there are pretty much all the colors that the buildings have are going to be blue or just one of the more generic white, beige or brown colors. And this building over here isn't really anything special, just sort of filler more or less. Though I was really, really happy with how the corners turned out over here. 
Um, let me get rid of that lantern, we're not Michael Bay. Um, because actually it's like a layering of different parts of cornices and a balcony. But I'm actually quite happy about how they turned out to work together. I wasn't quite sure if they would really work together to quite make that large corners look that I was hoping it would give, but it's sort of better than I actually expected. So I, I might want to use that a little bit more in the future as well. This building here is just filler because sometimes you need filler and sometimes you need to walk through walls as well. And this building is the corner building, which really the only function it has is what it probably does best and fill up a corner because in general the main streets are really the corner buildings are going to be the buildings which you mostly will focus on anyway so I really wanted to make sure that those were the prettiest buildings with the most uh, detailed pieces but also the different colors and pieces there and uh, same goes for this building really and yeah that's the entire main street or at least half of it, that is. There are definitely still things that I want to change, like the paths are really empty over here, and I might want to add more details to the buildings, especially this one looks like it could use some more detail around here, especially uh, when you compare it to the rest of the building, with rest of the buildings, which I gradually detailed a little bit more, and in general, I could still work on the main street, I think. But yeah, that's probably also best to sort of save for next episode or next episodes because I will try to see if I can finish the main streets in the next episode. But I probably can't, so I might also turn it into a third episode. But I may also just finish parts of the main street and move on to different parts of the park. Really depends on what I just randomly feel like doing. I do have to say though, looking back, the paths look a lot better than I ever expected them to look. Like, I was really, really worrying that the paths wouldn't look very Main Street-like, especially given how there are still small patches of grass in between them, and I couldn't get this much more sidewalk looking than it currently does, but it actually really surprised me with how good the paths actually work for this kind of thing, and especially for ground level, I think it's quite a Main Street-looking thing. And I basically want to do pretty much the same thing on the other side, very similar buildings, uh, more of the Victorian Queen Anne style architecture, or at least try to uh, sort of make that look like it. It's not going to be 100% what I'm hoping for in that regard, but I'm still quite happy with how this turned out so far. And hopefully I'll be able to improve on it in the future and finish the main street. So that's what I'll do next time. So thank you guys for watching this episode and see you guys later.